One of the types of cancer that is discussed in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide is hemangiosarcoma. Dr. Dressner, I'll throw this question out to you first. Uh, if you have a dog with hemangiosarcoma, what are you likely looking at in terms of signs and symptoms? Well, hemangiosarcoma is tricky because it can occur in a variety of different areas in the body. It can occur in the skin and just right on the surface of the skin. And those are not too bad. Those are little kind of purplish lumps and they bleed sometimes and they're pressed or scratched. And those are usually not too bad. But if it invades deeper and there's a growth on the skin that's going down deeper underneath the skin, those are usually uh, more malignant. Now, the strange thing about hemangiosarcoma is it is uh, characterized as a growth or a swelling that's branching off of a blood vessel. And that can be connected to the signs in the dog. And I'll explain why. Some of these dogs will have hemangiosarcoma most commonly, as a matter of fact, in the spleen, the, the internal organ, the spleen. And because of the fact that these tumors are connected to blood vessels, many times they'll bleed within the tumor itself or sometimes into the abdomen. And these dogs can first show signs very, very suddenly with all of a sudden having decrease in energy level and weakness in the back legs to the extent that sometimes they'll actually collapse and grow very, very pale because one of these tumors is bleeding internally. And there's a third, or not a third, but there's yet another form which can sometimes affect the heart. And those dogs will show signs of heart disease. And those, these dogs will have uh, many times coughing, uh, many times it's going to be a lethargy, sometimes abdominal swelling, sometimes labored breathing, and also collapse. So there's a variety of different signs that you can see with hemangiosarcoma, all depending on where it pops up in the body. Dr. Ettinger, your thoughts on hemangiosarcoma? Yeah, the most common form that I see of the different uh, types of hemangiosarcoma, which is again a cancer of the blood vessels, is the one of the spleen. Um, and it, that is a really frustrating cancer for both oncologist and for the guardian. It is an aggressive cancer. Um, it fills with blood that, as Dr. Dressler points out, can cause internal bleeding and you know can really make a dog very sick very suddenly. Um, but it's also a very metastatic cancer. And so, you know, we think about surgery to remove the spleen as the main f treatment option. But again, this is a cancer that is probably metastasized already at that time. Um, and chemotherapy is typically used afterwards. But again, it, it's a frustrating cancer. It's not one of the cancers where the survival times are as long as some of the other cancers. And it, it's a hard cancer for everyone involved. Dr. Dressler, any final thoughts on treatment options for hemangia? Yeah, many times surgery is something that will get the dog out of the immediate crisis, that is, remove the source of blood loss if it is from a bleeding internal tumor, which is one of the most common presentations. We have to also remember that uh, in addition to chemotherapy, uh, diet, uh, uh, diet change, uh, a healthy cancer diet uh, is very important, and we want to give supplements. Uh, there are certain natural compounds found in plants called apotogens uh, that are able to turn on cell suicide in cancer cells. Been, this has been shown in petri dishes and uh, in test tubes, and those are important to supplement as well. Uh, and of course, we cannot forget life quality enrichment, which is an important part for overall well-being uh, and immune support and uh, the, the different areas really of full spectrum care in helping these dogs with hemangiosarcoma. There's a tremendous amount of information on hemangiosarcoma in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. I want to thank both of you for joining us today. Dr. Ettinger, New York, Dr. Dressler in Hawaii, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.